Hi, I'm Roddy Iglis. I'm a certified clinical nutritionist. And remember, we have been doing this series. We got, we had a few tapes lost, so I'm redoing, uh, this one for now. This is basically, um, something that, um, we were talking about. If you haven't tuned into my website, it's advancedhealthinstitute.com. Make sure that you go to that and click on to the metabolic assessment questionnaire and follow along. We're in section five now, but make sure that you do the questionnaire and then each episode that comes up, you can follow along and find out what all these symptoms mean. So right now we're in category five. Now, before I go into this, remember, I want to just recap what the metabolic assessment is all about. Metabolism is basically how your body works. And I always say it's not just eating good food, but it's how well you digest, how well you uh, absorb, how well you utilize on the cellular level, and how well you detoxify the uh, metabolic waste. All right? So we're in category five, which means biliary insufficiency or congested gallbladder. So some of the signs and symptoms of this are greasy or high fat foods cause distress, uh, lower bowel gas and or bloating several hours after eating, uh, a bitter metallic taste in the mouth, especially in the morning, unexplained itchy skin, uh, a yellowish cast in the eyes or uh, the stool alternates from a clay color to a brown, uh, reddened skin, especially in the palms, dry or flaky skin, and a history of gallbladder attacks or stones. And of course, if you've had your gallbladder removed. So biliary insufficiency or stasis is a condition in which the body doesn't make enough bile or the bile is too thick. Um, let me talk about bile for a, a second. It's an enzyme secreted by the liver and it's temporarily stored in the gallbladder to aid in fat digestion by emulsifying fat into smaller molecules. So let me just talk about this for a second. The liver produces the bile, but the gallbladder, which sits right under the liver, um, it basically is like the liver's handbag. It doesn't actually make bile, but what it does is it stores excess bile. So its job or bile's uh, job is to emulsify fat. So the best way to think about this is to take a jar of water or imagine it and drop a few drops into that. And you'll notice these large fat molecules. But if you put a lid on the jar and you shake it up, you'll see little tiny fat globules. Okay, that's what emulsifying is. So it reduces the fat down to smaller sizes. So once that's done, the hormones, cholecystokinin, which is, well, we, we call it CCK, is released during eating fats and protein. And then it triggers, the, that particular um, hormone triggers the contraction of the gallbladder, which expels stored bile into the small intestine. In the small intestine, bile emulsifies fat, permitting its digestion by pancreatic enzymes, specifically in this case, lipase. Now, remember before I was talking about, we have the, uh, the pancreas, which is right under on the left side, under this, under this rib, under the stomach, and it releases digestive enzymes. So before, remember anything that ends in ASE, ase is usually an enzyme. So in this case, lipase would be an enzyme that breaks down lipids or fat, right? So now the absorption of um, fat uh, is then, once it's uh, emulsified by the bile, lipids come in and break it down even further. Also, the absorption of fat-soluble vitamins uh, requires bile emulsification. Biliary insufficiency or stasis can be caused from diets high in fat, elevated estrogen, or maybe a second, maybe secondary to hypochlorhydria. Remember in section two, I talked about hypochlorhydria and basically what that means is an insufficient hydrochloric acid in the stomach. And it's hydrochloric acid. This is the first line. So if we, we're not producing good hydrochloric acid down the line, we're going to have all these problems digesting fat and digesting all of our other nutrients. Um, 
A, pr a common problem associated with the gallbladder is when bile, cholesterol, lecithin, and pigments combine to form gallstones. Now, it's a mistake sometimes to think that gallstones are actually stones. They're not necessarily calcified. They're not hard stones. They're really, if you look at a gallstone, um, and basically there is a way of flushing gallstones, if you look at them, they're really sort of like paraffin wax, and they're greenish in color. And sometimes these kind of waxy stones um, when they're mixed with fat and salts and bile, they basically can clump together, which is what makes them larger. Generally, the presence of gallstones goes undetected unless and until their size and positions cause pain in the right side of the abdomen, which is right here. If you take your fingers and just squeeze right under this right rib, this is where your gallbladder sits. Now, if you're pushing on that and it's very sensitive or you've got sharp pains going on there or any pulsating pains, it might be that you've got a congested gallbladder, and that's generally called gallstone or gallbladder attack. Um, people most prone to getting gallstones are generally overweight women, uh, people over 40, and about 20% of all adults over the age of 65 years old. So for more information on how you can keep your liver and gallbladder congestion free, and we do have ways, and generally when I do a detoxification program, I usually end the detoxification with a liver gallbladder flush. Uh, you can go to my website, advancedhealthinstitute.com, and if you haven't visited that so far, make sure you go to that and fill out the metabolic assessment questionnaire, which you can find in actually all through the website. Fill that out and follow along, because each one of these episodes I go through each one of those categories, and you can check off what kind of symptoms you have, and then you can come back, make sure that if you haven't signed in, that you uh, sign into Psyche Truth and keep watching my series. So stay tuned for next episode, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Good job. If you liked this video, we have hundreds of more alternative videos ranging from sexual health to psychology to mind control. So if you liked it, go ahead and click on me to enter the Psyche Truth channel.